Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your full moon reading. Full moon in Aquarius. Lots of, oh, lots of energy, lots of hard aspects, challenging aspects in this energy. And um, I did do a reading and a live video on all of this energy more in depth uh, yesterday. Feel free to check that out if you feel called to, if you're not sure about what the heck is going on right now with me or with other people, with the world. There's some big energy in the air and it is all designed for great change, yet with great change comes a lot of internal sacrifices, external sacrifices, and with a fixed grand cross, it's all the fixed signs within us, within our birth chart. We all have um, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus in our birth chart somewhere. Even if you don't have planets there, um, we have those aspects of life, those houses. And fixed energy does not like change. Actually, we'll do anything and everything to avoid change, yet change is imminent. So... Anyway, sorry about all that. Gemini, let's get into your reading. Ooh, yeah. I'm feeling it. I know many are going through a, some kind of crisis, emotional, physical, whether it's personal or with loved ones or others, friends. What is the uh, message for Gemini, please? But even if you're not the one in crisis and it is a loved one or, you know, someone in your life, um, there are lessons for you as well. How you react, how you respond. Do you have healthy boundaries? Nobody is exempt from this energy <laughs> at all, I'm hearing. Um... Great changes are amongst us all. Oh, this is exactly what uh, Aquarius got. Nothing will come of this situation. Void of course moon. Now when the moon is in void of course, that means that the moon is in, it is moving it is a, in a point in its orbit where it is not making any transits, no communications with any other planets. It is sort of a voided period of time. And sometimes this void, of course, moon will last an entire day, sometimes a few minutes. It depends. It's, you know, it is what it is. Um, but for you... There may be something that's been testing you, that's been challenging you, that has you worried or stressed. Know that nothing, you may even be thinking the worst case scenario. Nothing will come of this situation. So put your mind at ease. All right, Gemini, let's keep going. Here comes the sun. What else do we have for Gemini? Sacrifice, spiritual strength. I'm getting two messages here already, so there may be two different groups that we are reading for. The sacrifice, some of you may you may be fully aware that in order for the changes that you desire to occur, it re it's going to require you to sacrifice, make a sacrifice. That's that fixed energy. Most likely it's making a sacrifice in something you're fixed on that it, you don't want to change. For others of you, be mindful. Don't sacrifice yourself and your energy 
um, giving it to others or giving it to other situations if it's draining you. Healthy boundaries are important. Whatever, who, whatever category you're in, these are spiritual tests. So these are tests that are designed specifically for you to kind of level up on your connection to your higher self, the higher mind. Um, yeah, so uh, we have the waiting game. We're going to dive a little deeper into this all for you. Um, there could be elements within you that is like as time moves on and I'm not saying or doing anything to like my heart is telling me to make a move moving on at the bottom is telling me to make a move. I also know that it requires me to sacrifice something. Um, yet time's a ticket, so there could be a little bit of anxiety going on inside, right? Now, understand that Uranus, <laughs> this full moon is squaring or challenging, testing Uranus, who is also still in a tight conjunction with the star Algol. Um... Again, I talk about it all in that video, but Uranus energy is um, unexpected. Uranus can actually um, make the changes for us that we weren't able to make ourselves some way, somehow. Um, so yeah, okay. We don't wanna make this too long, they're saying, okay. <laughs> Tell me more about sacrifice, please, for Gemini. And you could fall into both groups, I'm hearing. There's something that you know in order for you to move into the direction, move on into more of a lighter, brighter energy it's going to require you to sacrifice something, but at the same time, at the moment, you're sacrificing your own self and your own energy because your boundaries aren't healthy. Because you may be operating from a codependent place. So you could be, the duality of Gemini, you could be really in both groups, which would just lump that back up to one group. <laughs> Okay, tell me about sacrifice for Gemini, please. Sorry, when I receive channelings, they um, come in bits and pieces. King of Cups. Oh. Someone's pulling on your heartstrings. Something's pulling on your heartstrings. A lover is pulling on your heartstrings. It's tapping into your compassionate side, which is beautiful. Yet, are you also checking with yourself? Am I being loving and compassionate to myself? Or am I sacrificing that in order to give it to somebody else? Be mindful. It's hard. I know. But this is where your that's this is where spirit is testing you right now, Gemini. The lovers. So for the bulk of this reading, you truly are in a codependent relationship or codependent pattern with somebody. Somebody that you're really closely tied to at a soul level. And um you're giving all of your compassion and love and heart energy away. You're not giving it to yourself. Some aspect of you really wants to move on out of this density, out of this yucky feeling that you're feeling. And you're just biding the time. You're waiting to see if something else is going to change. You're the one that has to change the energy, Gemini. I hate to tell you that, but you are nine of wands. 
you're waiting on yourself. When you change your energy, when you start to give yourself that love, that compassion, that affection, that attention, the energy is going to shift and change here. Nine of Wands blocked. When you get in that energy of waiting, you're blocking yourself from anything happening. So you're just repeating the same thing over and over and over again. Think, think, thinking that it's going to change. Thinking that it's it's going to be different. That's Isn't that the definition of insa insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again. Expecting a different result. Definition of insanity. Don't get to that point there. But the Hierophant in reverse is telling me that um, there's a belief system that's been installed or instilled in you. Um, this is most likely is from family conditioning or just the, the way that you've witnessed other people relate to each other because you have such a big heart and you are empathic um, that you've got to put other people before yourself. And the even though there are times where that is what heroic and, um, you know, I don't know if we want to say compassionate because truly we've got to have the love and compassion for ourselves. If we're doing things for other people that, but we're not receiving that back and we're, you know, hoping and waiting for it to come back, you're going to be waiting a long time. This is also like lessons learned. You're not truly learning what the universe is, why you're having this experience to begin with. We're in earth school. <laughs> And Earth School has different classrooms and different lessons that um, we've got to pass the class in order to move up to the next stair step level in consciousness and experience. This is an energetic game that we are playing with each other here. So nothing will come of this situation, Gemini. Um, whatever's going on, it's, it's just a test. It's a test. All right. Did we get... I did not. Let me just pull a card here. One last one for you. This, this message came through so strongly. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Superman's not coming. I think you're waiting. You've been waiting for either a, the, an energy to change, somebody to change, something to come uh, rescue you or help you out of this situation. It's you. You are your own superhero, Gemini. Um, pay attention to your dreams. There's a lot of detailed information here uh, to be found, to be decoded, I'm hearing, from your dreams, vivid dreams. You may be having vivid dreams. Um, there's, um, there's guidance there for you in your current situation. So that's what I have for you this week, Gemini. I wish you a healthy, healthy, happy, healthy full moon. I hope that if you found this to be helpful for you and I'm sending you so much love. Take care. Bye.